Hey guys, I am Nikhil Lodke and you are watching Support Mania. So today I am going to explain you about uh, how you are going to sign in with G+. Okay, so there are some simple steps as you can see over here. Uh, you need to follow to get this done quickly. Okay, so let me explain you step by step. So step number one, you need to create a sample project. That's uh, what I have created, G plus demo. And uh, then you need to create a Google services.json file and uh, dump it inside the, this, uh, the same project. Then uh, you need to add uh, some uh, libraries. Okay. Uh, uh, over here, I mentioned that uh, pay services library you uh, need to uh, add into your project. And the library is uh, basically useful for uh, image loading. Okay. And uh, then we need to write some simple stuff uh, to sign with uh, Google Plus. Okay, so let's uh, go one by one. So as you can see, I have created a G plus demo and I need to create a Google services.json file. Uh, here are some steps for creating Google services.json file. So I'm going to explain you how to generate your uh, a JSON file for your Google sign in process. Okay, so you first need to go to this website as I am uh, have open over here and you need to scroll down for and you need to click on get a configuration file over here so once you click you will get this screen and uh, you need to uh, give app name so in my case it's a uh, g plus demo and my package name is com dot nextshift dot g plus demo <coughs> so once i am done with this i need to select my country my region india okay <coughs> then i'll uh, click on choose and configure services okay so now as you can see over here uh, we have uh, multiple options that google is providing that is uh, google uh, sign in analytics then cloud messaging so we can add these services to our projects so what next so you need to add your signing certificate so and how you are going to generate this so make a note of this go to gradle okay then open this app and uh, click double click on android <coughs> you will find sign in report double click on it <coughs> as you can see here sha1 is created so uh, you just need to copy this sha fingerprint and uh, just copy this go to the same website just paste it over here and uh, i'll click on enable google sign in okay yes i'll uh, close this and i'll continue to uh, generate configuration file so i'll click on continue with uh, downloading the json file uh, so guys as you can see uh, here you will find an option to uh, download the json so i'll click on the same yep so i'm done with the downloading this file you just need to copy this file and dump it inside your project so where exactly you are going to dump this file inside app folder you just need to copy and paste okay yes there it is so here you will find uh, client information as well as uh, OAuth client information, your API key. So basically this file will help, help you to uh, sign in with Google. So here is my main activity. As you can see in, main, uh, in on create I have uh, initialized some controls uh, as well as uh, my layout is there initialization of control is there then some some kind of Google plus settings okay so initialization of uh, controls basically uh, includes uh, whatever uh, so let me go to my XML first uh, so this is going to be my uh, activity layout 
okay a simple button as you can see so for this sign in button this is this is basically you will get once you will uh, add uh, this play service library compile uh, uh, inside the <coughs> build.gradle file then only you will you can able to find this button otherwise you will uh, get some errors okay uh, then just i have uh, i have added this button uh, once i'll successfully uh, uh, go inside the app and then uh, i should see uh, some sign sign out button so uh, initially i have uh, set it uh, its visibility to gone okay so again back to uh, code behind so initialization of control is done then uh, google plus settings so all these uh, files are imported basically with the help of uh, this play service library okay so here you will find auth related implementation uh, then uh, some apis which google is providing some callbacks then the status messages whether it is successfully uh, logged in or not okay so here those kind of settings you are going to uh, do then customization of button uh, basically there are many uh, uh, sign in buttons google already provided uh, some st size standard then um, screen uh, size wide then uh, color light color dark all the all these kind of uh, default buttons uh, are provided by google okay and uh, this sign in basically i'm going to call when i'll uh, click on button so if i'll click on this button then this function will call okay mm, then uh, if i'll click if i if once i'll be there inside the app and if i'll click uh, there i'll find uh, sign out button so if i'll click on the same though then uh, this sign out uh, sign out will call and basically uh, when i'll uh, when i am going to sign in okay so on activity result on activity result set will call here basically uh, uh, i'll cross check for first uh, verify with the uh, requested code in my case here i have as you can see a 420 is my requested code so if matches if it matches with the same then it will be uh, it will go inside this if condition uh, so and after this i am going to call the handle uh, g plus sign in result so i'll go inside this uh, handle g plus uh, uh, google sign in result and then uh, based on the success response i'll uh, go inside this method to fetch all the details whatever google is providing to me in in uh, uh, so whatever what all things google is providing basically you will uh, you, you you will get display name then that means a person a person name then a photo url uh, whatever your profile pic is going to upload you are going to upload at the time of uh, creating this account then the email address then the family name okay and then um, on my ui level i am going to set these things and uh, my profile pic as you i have, I have uh, already explained you what is glide so with the help of glide i am easily uh, uh, i'm just passing this photo url to this library this will take care to uh, caching mechanism and all this will take care uh, to load the image faster and uh, to to which control so this is my control image profile pic so on in, in this profile pic uh, image view control uh, this url is going to load okay and then uh, i am going to update the ui okay so let me uh, quickly run this application okay so let me run the application okay And simultaneously, uh, I would like to show how you are, you can debug. Okay. 
okay so it's uh, installing yes as you can see uh, I can able to see uh, this sign in button on my uh, main activity page so uh, I'm going to debug right now okay so if I'll click on sign in button so as you can see it uh, went inside this sign in function okay so uh, I'm going to uh, uh, click F6 to move to next steps again F6 then F8 I'm going to click on now on the uh, screen as you can see I am having as uh, I am having two uh, accounts uh, loaded in my uh, mobile that is uh, Nikhil Lodke and support Minia. So I am going to select first one Nikhil Lodke. So now here as my as I have mentioned at the time of sign in my uh, code was uh, 420 and uh, the requested code is again 420 so it matches so it will go inside this method so f6 f6 again uh, it will go inside the handle g plus method then uh, as you can see uh, i've got a result as a success and uh, this result will give me my information yep as you can see in logcat so these these are all my information so as you can see personal name is uh, nikhil lotke then uh, photo url is this thing so if i'll show you i'll just copy this uh, url and uh, paste it over here yes so this is my profile pic and my email address my uh, family name so this information I am going to uh, set to my controls okay and basically I am going to update my UI now you can see my profile pic is set my name my email address and uh, my logout button is visible now so if I click on logout button so my logout sign out uh, function will call and I am just uh, going to uh, use this callback method which uh, Google is providing and based on that I'm going to update my UI so I'm um, yes I'm again back to main screen where I'm uh, I'm <coughs> where, where I entered with sign in button so that's all basically uh, you need to follow these simple steps and uh, basically you need to generate how to generate uh, Google services JSON file so that is uh, main uh, point you need to address then only if the API key and uh, project structure whatever you are uh, uh, if the if your project structure over here matches with uh, whatever uh, you are going to create a, a your sign in key then only you can able to uh, uh, success uh, then only you you can able to run this project successfully okay thanks guys for watching this uh, video and hope you uh, understood this thing if you have any queries then uh, ma mail me uh, at uh, nikhil.lotk88 at gmail.com also subscribe my channel uh, support minia uh, i'm going to share my source code to my drive so you will find this uh, source code on my uh, description of this same video thank you so much